This is a transformer or power supply, whichever one you want to call it, for a 450X charging station. Now, how many of you have had to replace your power supply slash transformer for your 450X? If you had to do that and you had to do it more than once, you're probably asking your dealer, why don't they change something with this? Why don't they come out with something better? Why do these keep failing? And so on and so on. That's been a question for quite a while now. But lucky for all you guys, the time has finally come. Now I say your time has finally come because on the right side of this picture, right there, that black transformer slash power supply with no white label on it. I know a lot of you are probably thinking that's one for a 430X, but nope. That is the new redesigned power supply for the 450X and 450XH automowers. So what we have here is on the left is the original transformer for the 450X and 450XH model automowers. The one in the middle is the new one for the 450X and 450XH automowers. On the right is the one for the 430X and the 430XH automowers. Now, because they redesigned the one for the 450, there's probably a good chance that the one for the 430X series will probably be redesigned as well. Um, probably just a matter of time before you see that happening. Now, as far as getting a new version of the 450X uh, power supply, that, I believe, is just going to be a running change. Uh, you buy a new mower, there's a good chance you're going to get the old power supply in there, uh, probably till at least sometime next year until they run through the old stock. If you're a dealer and you're ordering new parts and you order a new power supply for a 450X or 450XH, good chance you're going to get the new style. Um, that's what we've had coming in lately in all of our orders. So I think as far as the spare parts, they've worked through those older ones, but you never know. There might be some hiding in a warehouse somewhere that they decide to ship out to you. But so here's a little bit of bonus information for some of you out there. There are two main differences between the power supplies for the 450s and the 430s. The first one is the fact that the one for the 450s puts out 7 amps. It does this because, of course, it's charging two batteries. The one for the 430s puts out just over 4 amps, uh, about 4.2, I believe. The other big difference is in the configuration of the plug that plugs into the low voltage cable. The plug for the 450s they put the wires on the two outside ports of that plug. For the 430, they use the middle and one outside port. As you might have seen on the back of the charging station, the plug is identical between the charging station for the 430 and the 450s. Now, because the charging stations are the same for a 430 series and a 450 series automower, other than the fact that they add the one guide wire pin to the one for the 450s, Yes, you could theoretically plug in a low voltage cable and transformer from a 450 to a charging station for a 430 mower, but you never want to do that because you risk ruining your battery and some other stuff in there because you're going to have too high of an amperage running through everything. Now, if you need to, you could go the other way if you had a 450 mower and you had a low voltage cable from a 430 mower and a power supply from a 430 mower, you could plug that into the charging station for the 450 and it would charge the mower, but it would take longer to charge it. It would power everything and you wouldn't really have to worry about overloading anything or burning anything up. So just to reiterate, never ever use the power supply and low voltage cable from a 450 mower to charge a 430X or 430XH automower. You can, if need be, in a pinch, use the power supply and low voltage cable from a 430X or 430XH to charge a 450 or 450XH. It will just take longer because it's not putting out as high of amperage. All right, so back to the new power supply for the 450X, 450XH. You can see here, it doesn't have the big white label on it because it has everything etched right into it. All your specs right there, the output, the 28 volts, the seven amps, uh, part number, um, the input, all that stuff, all the, the IP rating there, you know, everything is right on it. You know, it's not gonna peel off. It's not gonna fade and crack away like on the old one. So that's a much better design. 
Now, aside from the new power supply being a little bit skinnier than the old one that you see there with the white label, you can also see that the mounting holes are at a different spacing than on the original one. The cables are a little bit different too. The part that clips on to the low voltage cable is about two inches shorter on the new unit, but the other end that plugs into the outlet is about two inches longer than on the original power supply. So a few closing notes here on the new power supply slash transformer for the 450X, 450XH automowers. This is the United States version of the power supply slash transformer for these mowers. Um, this would not be the same in other countries. If you look in the parts lookup, you know, you'll notice that right away that they give different part numbers depending on what country you're ordering it for. And the part number for this new one is currently 590-44-2504. Now, if you're a dealer and you're going to order some more power supplies, Chances are, like I said before, it's going to automatically sub over to this number, and this is the one you'll get. You never know. There might be some old ones laying around here. Um, you might still get a few of the old, other older ones, uh, depending on where you're located, what warehouse they're coming out of. Um, as far as the new units, again, you'll probably see some of the old ones in the newer units for a while yet until they run out of that old inventory, and then you'll start seeing these new power supplies in with the new units. So. So that's going to do it for this episode of Automower Answers. Hopefully we've uh, been able to ease the mind of some of you out there that have had some power supply problems in the past. You know, now that they are definitely working on it, there has been a change to at least the ones for the 450Xs and XHs, um, possibly one coming for the 430X and 430XH. Time will tell. So if you like what you saw here, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You know, share these videos with your friends, neighbors, coworkers, whoever else might have an automower or be thinking about buying an automower. And as always, leave us some comments, you know, give us some feedback. Tell us what you're struggling with, any kind of problems you're having, any questions you might have, because we don't know what you need help with until you tell us. So, so thanks for watching and we'll be talking to you again soon.